partying for me is it's been so long so it's it's hard to sort of recall but um i think it means letting loose and um feeling wild and feeling kind of a sense of craziness it's a sense of like letting loose it's a sense of letting go it's like a space where my love for music and my love for people have come together making an environment where people can like enjoy themselves yeah enjoy themselves yeah knowing that everyone's letting loose a little bit in a kind of more communal way really helps me and eases my my kind of invisible social anxiety partying when it is in its true form looks like quite an intense release that's when i've gotten past all the things that i feel that i should be doing or the way that my body should be moving quite like an indulgent experience in a way yeah it's the way that we let loose on a weekend after a shitty week or it's the way we celebrate a good week when you first said partying i don't know why but i went back to like high school all of my best memories tend to be with my high school friends when i was in grade 11 matric like going out to like bars and because i feel like being around each other during that formative time means that you get to already see the kind of weirdest parts of each other and so those kind of stick with you and like yeah, just getting drunk and smoking cigarettes and it was just all so thrilling and like 16, 17 trying to make a space for myself as like what I thought older people go out and do trying to perform, try, like wanting to go somewhere, wanting to like be older than you are Bombarding yourself with like stimuli and yes. like experience um, Yeah, it's, it's, it's like purely enjoyment I guess it's a very universal feeling, but it's just always been so cathartic and therapeutic and dancing. The I guess the dancing's role in my life means a lot to me. Um, it's a big part of my life. I make a point to do it in my room and yeah. Why? Because it it's like, it reconnects me with my body. It like, it just gets me out of my head. And I think I'm someone who is in my head so much. And I think that's what what going out and dancing gives me. There's just something about being in a room with, with like a bunch of sweaty strangers that is just, I want to do it. I want to be there. <laughs> but if you try and put that thing into words, what is that thing? I love dancing and I think it's so nice to be in a place where I can love dancing and not feel self-conscious or, um, you know, insecure about dancing. I remember being very young, grade seven, not really feeling very comfortable on the dance floor, but um, as I discovered alcohol, I discovered that it doesn't really matter how you dance, it just feels amazing to dance. I was very shy and very self-conscious about about dancing and I think it was the friends that I was friends with that really like early on I dealt with that fear and I feel like I learned how to let go. I think my first moment where I really experienced this was like at Habdala and Habonim like and seeing like all my muddies just go crazy and be like really stupid and I was like oh shit this looks cool, you know, I can do this as well. Like, I don't need to like try and dance sexy or like, you know, I can just move. When I'm feeling particularly um, adventurous, I will dance alone in my room. But I would say I dance every day. I dance in the shower, dance while I'm cooking. I dance when I go out with my friends. I love dancing in a group. Getting together and dancing and listening to music, just jiving in a group means a lot to all the groups of friends that I'm in. It is almost like the central hub that 
can be quite expansive um, and it includes a lot of people on the periphery because I think once you're on the dance floor there's a lot of like, communication through dancing and a lot of connection. It's the primary way that people meet each other and make friend groups. You know, connecting through going to clubs or house parties or having pre's or posties. Well, the easiest way to meet people and it's the most like socially acceptable way to meet people. This like feeling of everyone like listening to the same music and like moving to the same music. And I think that space exists like on the dance floor, like through movement and through like a song that everyone knows. I think people become really connected by that. For me, it's that I think through the people who I surround myself with, they taught me how to move freely. Like I think like by watching AJ or watching Emma or watching Lily, I was able to open up more and then move and then dance. So it didn't go dance, then community, it went community, then dance. Um, and yeah, I think like that is a space that I haven't had in a long time. I was like throwing parties at the time. Initially, I thought we were going to be in lockdown for like two weeks. So it didn't like it didn't stop. We kept planning. We were like having like Zoom meetings and then and then like weeks pass and then you're like oh shit maybe I don't know that maybe this is the new sort of reality during like the intense lockdown I I just didn't move we had those um like calls what, what are they called um like Zoom, Zoom parties. yeah like google hangout dance parties and you would just turn on your screen and like dance with your friends and I remember just like absolutely not being able to do that. That one dance party we had was quite iconic over Zoom um, and it felt very disembodied and I think was so much fun and it was, but it was so bizarre feeling sweaty and like out of breath by myself. Um, and I think I missed the really loud music and like the entire atmosphere and like touching my friends and like being near them. I've always like just loved dancing alone, but it, in lockdown, it became a ritual of like, if I was, I remember feeling so, so low, just like my, one of my friend's dads had passed away and it was like, just, it was like still thick lockdown. And I remember Pia sent me, <laughs> sent me some songs and one of them was I'm a Bee by the Black Eyed Peas. And I just like, I didn't know what else to do with myself except dance and it was such an important release. Around five o'clock when it started to get dark and I would just, I started to feel really stuck. I would just go down to the trampoline in my garden and like, just like, I don't know, go crazy. And I used to dance a lot during lockdown. I danced every single day and it was one of the things that brought me the most joy. And my mom and I did it and it was a way for us to bond. And it's like one of my central memories of lockdown is just dancing and dancing. I re remember coming back from lockdown and I was like really um, depressed and really mm. down. And it was my birthday um, and we'd like danced the night before or something. I hadn't been back with like these people in a while, but then we all just like accessed something higher. And I think that's when I've had the most fun where it's been like five of us in our lounge. And that's why I say, I think the friendships, the community led to th that possibility of dancing because I felt like it wasn't just like a, oh, they're moving like that, I should do that. It was like a, we all want to move like this together. Mm. I remember thinking that I just, for, for the whole period of lockdown, hadn't moved in so long like that. And it was like this huge release of everything, you know, like it felt like a, like a type of ritual, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't just like party. party and, and, you know, party, party, fuck, party. it's just partying, like, like they, they are actual people with like their actual freedom being taken away but there, there's something how do we re how do we reckon with sitting in lockdown i felt this and this is what this whole project comes from how do we reckon with the fact that we are mourning something so frivolous when there is real real damage caused by the pandemic you know, there's always there's always going to be someone who's who has it worse than you, but but that 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 is not to say that what 
you know what you're missing out on is 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 it's it's you you had it then it's gone it was like it was taken away and that's shitty i think there was a deep mourning for it a longing and um a missing for that sort of sweaty um connection we were coming from a place where there'd been quite an abundance of partying in february 2020 I felt like I was on the cusp of something. And I remember really enjoying like getting dressed up for your party. And I remember freaking out at James's music. I just moved into a house. Everything was moving very quickly. It was it felt like things were building. I just expected it to carry on with a particular pace. But it, it didn't it I didn't get to build. And I think that was like the I was so angry and yeah, I was so angry for so long. Because I, yeah, I felt I was robbed. I, I really identify your 21st and Margot's 21st as like key parties before. During COVID, looking back at those times in, with like huge, just like devastation. I don't know, at like things that I'd lost. And I just felt so young and like I really liked feeling young. Whereas now I feel like young feels really scary. At the beginning, it was... Or pre-COVID, like around the time of your twenty-first, it felt so bright. I had my twenty-first birthday party about a month before South Africa announced it would be going into lockdown. Pretty much all of the interviews you've been hearing here are with people who were at that party. The music that you've been hearing was made by James, my best friend, who DJed at my twenty-first. And the audio you're hearing now is from the end of that night when people were ordering their Ubers and giving each other drunken goodbye hugs. We had no idea what was going to happen. And it's hard to look back and think of what we've lost in general, not just partying. Our mourning isn't limited to the obvious. I think in a time of so much loss for so many people, we have to allow space to grieve the small things as well as the big. And I think for me, what's helped a lot is remembering to dance even when it feels like the world is falling apart. I want to be with you when we realize what songs, or remember what songs we were playing, like anytime any song pops up, I have the horse screaming, You're a genius. <laughs> yes, yes. Of course, what the heck? Do you remember when, which song it was? No, it was the song. And that's where I said to you, not only was your best, it was the best. I think I do have a hands down. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go home. Sick. Oh, I was gonna leave now. Bleak. Where you live? I live here and I love it. Yeah, that's all. That's all. I think we have that initial.